Good morning, Quiet Copter 101. And what I got for you today is a review of the TB8 from TechBoy TB822 um, Flying Butterfly. Yeah, it is a flying butterfly, folks. Um, it's controlled by one of these little G-Sensor controls. I'll go over the sticks here shortly on how to control it. But if you look at it, this is one's entirely uh, fabricated out of uh, pre-cut foam board. This one you do not have to build yourself. It actually comes already assembled. Uh, but uh, they could actually have put this in a smaller, much smaller package if you built it yourself, like the uh, TechBoy 820, which I recently reviewed. But on this one, this one is a pusher quadcopter. Uh, instead of uh, a puller. So the blades are located on the bottom. Again, it's all pre-cut uh, fabricated uh, uh, foam board that's held together mainly with a little bit of glue and a little bit of tape, uh, especially the top part here. The top part here could be interchanged. There are other pre-cut shapes available for this. Mine came with also, uh, in addition to the butterfly, it came with a little ladybug uh, shape, but uh, I'm not sure if that comes with all. The, the one, this one here is specified as a butterfly, so maybe they just threw in uh, the ladybug sh uh, shape just to uh, uh, give me another choice for a top for this particular quadcopter. Now, notice the shape of this thing. Um, it is not, because of this, this has a lot of uh, presented area, <laughs> which will create a lot of drag on if, especially if it's a windy day like today. So I doubt I'll be flying this today. I'm just doing the intro today. But keep in mind, this is probably best flown indoors or on low wind days. Now let's go over the controller of this. Uh, this is the controller. It's a G sensor controller, gravity sensor controller. You'll put it on your, finger, your hand like so, using this like a ring. And this is the buttons for controlling it. Everything is controlled through this one button here. You press it once, or it, you turn off the uh, transmitter on and off by pressing this button here, and it automatically binds with the quadcopter. But for takeoff, all you do is press in on the button, or if you want to land, you press down on the button, or press in on the button one more time, I'm sorry. If you want to change the rates to go to beginner, intermediate, and expert, you press forward like so. And if you want to yaw the quadcopter, and you'll probably want to, uh, you press back and then tilt your... Uh, arm left or right and its yaw will change. Now it doesn't matter which direction this quadcopter is pointed at in that this flies in headless mode at all times. Okay, whatever direction this was pointed when it took off will be forward and whatever direction, you know, if you want to go back, it will be back from that direction. So if you apply yaw to it like so and turn it like 90 degrees, even if you go forward, it will still continue sideways in the direction it was pointed when takeoff. It will not go in this direction. And that makes it very easy to fly with this particular controller. Um, and finally, if you did I go over this yet? If you want to do flips, you press up like so, and then tell it which direction to flip, and this will flip. And if you want to change the height of the quadcopter, you press down on this button and move your arm downward like so, and it will descend. And if you press down and move your arm upward, it will rise. So. That's the control of this. Let's go into a flight of this. Uh, I'm going to try to fly it right here today, but I doubt it's going to work very well. I'll give it one shot, and if it's too much wind, we'll come back again and fly this again tomorrow. So let's give it a try first. First try. And plugging in its white low-C battery. And by the way, it comes with a little, uh, I believe it's 300 milliamp per hour, uh, white low-C. Uh, you will be able to find replacement batteries for this on uh, just about anywhere. And turning on the transmitter. Transmitter is on. Okay, let's give it a try and see if it takes off, folks, in this wind. I'm um, going to put it in the high rate, and uh, let's do an automatic takeoff. It's probably going to blow right back toward me, but let's give it a try. Oh, this is expert rate. It's actually fighting the wind. No, no, it's, it's not. I'm going to have to land it, folks. Pressing the land button and bring it down. I'll come back tomorrow when there's less wind. <laughs> Today's too windy for it. Okay, it's another day. It's a low wind day, so let's take the TB822 for a flight. Again, you're going to need almost a windless day to fly this one outdoors. So to start this stop, you plug in its battery like so. Wrong. And also make sure after you do that to move its battery cable up and out of the way of the propellers. These do like to get in the way of the propellers. So that will help. So putting it down and turning on its transmitter, pointing it in that direction too. 
turning on its transmitter. Transmitter is on, and we should have bind. So again, to do takeoff, I press the button quickly, like so, and I have control. I'm gonna increase the rates. Okay, let's try going up higher, coming down lower. Cool little quadcopter going up higher. Try a flip. Another flip. Forward flip. <laughs> it's working. So again, you know, this is great for kids. Kids to play with. Nice little quadcopter. Do I got a higher rate? No, that's about it. Beginner and intermediate. So the thing is, you know, holding your arm up for the camera is kind of hard, for, actually for me. But as you can see, the little butterfly can fly. And you gotta, <laughs> let's put it over here. Let's see how far out, well, we ain't gonna go too far out. Now let's try that yaw. Remember I told you the yaw has no effect. So if I turn it sideways, see, don't matter. Don't matter which way the quadcopter's pointing. Let's turn it toward me, see? No matter, it's still, that way's always forward, this way's always back, this way's always left, this way's always right. So, bringing a quadcopter back. I'm gonna yaw it again. There's a wind picking up behind my back here, but let's turn the quadcopter away from me. It flies into the wind better if the back end is toward the wind. Keep that in mind, folks. Keep the back end toward the wind. You put the front end toward the wind, it starts to be pushed away with the wind. <laughs> but let's go up a bit higher. Oops, 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 oops. Oops, 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 oops. Sorry about that. Hit the wrong button for flip. Up is flip. That's flip. I want to go higher. I got to push down on this button and then raise my hand up. The butterfly. Again, it has, also has beetle shape, uh, other shapes for it. Um, again, mine came with two shapes. I don't know if that's standard or not. Maybe they just threw another shape in there to let me pick, take my pick of which one to use. But again, it's very easy to fly. You're just tilting your hand. So most kids should pick this up pretty darn quick. But again, this one is mainly for indoors because again, any type of wind, let's come down lower. Any type of wind and it, it, it starts to become shaky. <laughs> Those little push props do well. Uh, that's a good idea to keep the props down low. That improves the airflow. If they were up high, that uh, butterfly would be blocking the airflow from the propellers. So that's the idea of why it's a pusher prop on this particular model. My arm's getting tired. <laughs> but I hope you get the idea of this thing. Um, my camera battery might run out here if it hasn't already because I just flew three other quadcopters just before this one. Well, that feels good, that wind. It's hot out here today. Hot and sweaty. If you can see the clouds up in the sky, we got humidity out here in the desert today. Let's see if it'll do any more flips. Flip. Yeah, getting a little sloppy on the flips, though. Eh, it's doing them. I want to go backward. Whoa, whoa. Okay, no more flips. <laughs> Why is it climbing? It was climbing after that collision with the ground, but there we go. It's steadied out now. Now it's coming back down again. Yeah, a beginner's quadcopter for kids. Um, your arm gets tired holding it up like so, but I'm, I'm holding it up so you can see what I'm doing and how to control it. Uh, there's not much more for it to do. <laughs> Again, mainly a toy quadcopter for kids to play with and put together yourself. And again, Tech Boy's been coming out with a lot of these with this particular type of controller. Uh, 